You're walking, someone jumps, and it's your height. Your fighting stance is right foot forward, elbows in, left foot sprung on the balls of the foot. You can also go into fighting form, natural stance. You can step forward, so you're gonna walk, and that's your fighting stance. Or you can step backwards, as if something was gonna jump you. But when you step, I like stepping backwards because your back's erect, you're straight. Right? And I'll talk about that later on. So, the second thing we're going to do is the hands, right? So, this is the fighting form, if you look at me. So, I step backwards, I'm up, and I lift my hands up, and that's it. Very simple, like stop. Right? And you don't see the elbow sticking out, because that's a target. Elbows in, left in. The left hand, this is the right hand, right? Fingers back, thumb back. The reason why we have the thumb back is when you pass the blade, you don't get the blade stuck in your thumb. So you can pass and bounce it off. That's why you see that. As well as the thumb is out, you can also use that to jab the eye. So the fighting form looks like this. And then we're gonna move, I promise. So, looks like this. What you're seeing here is that the tip is not facing back. The tip is either 12 o'clock or slightly back. Second, for long range, the thumb is as high as the shoulder. Okay? For short or for medium and short range, it's here. For long range, it's here. We'll start with long range first. Second, you probably all know this, you hold a handle just like you're holding fresh eggs, you have a trigger. Okay? So when you strike at number one, watch my hips, I don't go pull back and strike. It's gonna come. Straight. So there's no telegraphing. So as soon as you come, straight. Hips. And I know it's going to be different, but when we turn the hips for the number one, it's the rear leg that's motion. If I turn with my, I know it's just, just for the art, if I turn with my front, I'm exposing my back to a strike on it. So I'm always square, and you always see it. The other thing is, with the elbow in, uh, it's hard to tell if you're fighting whether or not it's close to the enemy or far. You don't see the, the elbow. Forward. Back. Forward. Okay, one count, both moves. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Now, I'll go very strict like I'm okay? So hands in the hips, elbows facing left and right. Step back, rear one, heel down. Twist, by this time the right elbow should be right in front, so you're bladed, okay? And then the right leg steps directly back, and that way you're, you're facing this way. This is an exercise. So you're very thin, see, so they're perfect. If you look at me here, it's there, right? Hello, facing the wall for me. And we have a change strike right underneath. Now we're going to go for the floating stance, right? It looks like this, watch. Uh, here. See this here? It's going to simply, uh, there's two versions. I'll give you the version that I have. Small step back. This is going to step back, and I'm actually on the toes or toenails of my right foot. 100% of all the weight is on the left. Good, 100% hold. Very good, now back. Small step back, float, two, back. Small step back, float, back. Small step back, float, and back. Good, okay, ready. Face forward, back, this way, tighter. Tighter, okay. Watch me first. So, step back, drop the heel. As soon as this goes forward, cast it out, out the front. There you go. And as you're coming back to number four, put them forth, twist and back to fighting form. Step back, one, heel down, two. Twist and strike, and then follow. 
One more time. Ready? One, two, twist, strike, and follow. All right, one motion or arco because it's an arc. Looks like this. Fighting form up high without drawing back. One. Straight down. It looks like this. Can you come closer? Deep. Stand right, stand right. Face me, face me. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Straight line. <laughs> no extra movement, my elbow's in. As soon as you see this elbow, what do you see? You see it coming. You see it coming. And guess what? Tatang is Christmas for him. With that same strike, he just drops and sees the sees ball. See? So, shoulder softness, there's a way to do that. And then hips with the power. Really close. Awesome. So I tight spaces, but still, I can still extend. Cross. When you say cross, you have your center line. Make it cut the center line. Good. Go back to the five open position. Ready? One, two, one, two, one, two. Now let's do it with the shuffling. One, two. So same motion. Ready? One, two, one. Two, one, left hand up. One, two, one, two. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, go. Mm. There. Huh? Same concept. I'm just doing it here. So both moves, checking the number one and attacking. Go. Oh, fuck. And there's the left hand, by the way, going to the left. Checking. See? There it is. The left hand. <laughs> cutting there. So cutting same motion and then cutting here. So that's what you can do with this chain strike. Do you know it's a chain strike? Right? The chain strike can also be used for uh okay. nice. Cutting down here. Leg. Cut. Same intention. Go. Boom. That's the hand by the way. Okay, so go, boom, cut, go slowly, go slowly. Sometimes you can get, you're actually using the flat part of the blade, right, not the edge. And you'll see that, you can hear the difference too. So if you go slowly, go, boom. And all you're doing, by the way, I just want to go concept of, the, of measurement. You see that? You guys see that it's cutting, right? Watch, huh? all I'm gonna do is, with, the, with my weapon, is just change the direction of the tip six inches down. So go, and now it passes. It's geometry. Original pass, that's right. Original pass, boom. And he displaces it with this move. Displace, now it's going there, it passes. So you'll never, he's, he's a bit taller than me. You won't see him blocking like this. He'll just come down with a arco and then chop right there. That's, that's the, that's that down. Thank you, brother. For that time, is that arco has a carry, right? So if you strike, notice I just stepped back and I already carried it. So if I go slowly, see, it's the flat part. Go, boom, boom, stab, stab, uh, number. Yeah. All right, lateral strike, boom, right there. So that's all you're doing is that. It's the same motion. Right? So that's why he uses it as a go-to. Once he figures out the sec where the hand is, now he's going to decide what to do. With a bit, a bit clearer the first time. So you always see like physical boom. And then once he knows where the hand is, he'll know where to follow up. Sure, that's not what happens.